You may have seen a recent video of mine in which I detailed all of the frustrations that I have with this, the Whoop Band 4.0, and all the issues that they had with their initial launch, with the product, and the problems that I've had, things that broke. Anyway, the goal of this is to explain why I've actually started recommending the Whoop 4.0 again. So I'm gonna try and make this a really quick and informative video. The first thing that I wanna talk about is the HR accuracy. Now, thanks to a lot of videos from smarter people than me, specifically the Quantified Scientist, Desfit, DC Rainmaker, and others, the heart rate accuracy has actually improved significantly from the 3.0 that came before it. One of the number one complaints that myself as well as many others had is that since the HR is not necessarily accurate, it's much more difficult to trust an algorithm that's telling you about your strain and recovery if you don't have as accurate of HR data. So therefore, if the heart rate is much more accurate, then the algorithms must be more accurate and we can trust them more, and the usefulness of a strain and recovery score every single day, as well as recommendations on when to go to bed, is actually quite beneficial. So now that the heart rate is much more accurate, and they've also added some cool things like skin temperature and blood oxygen levels, that is really cool. So the second thing I wanna talk about that has changed is the supply chain problems. When they first launched the Whoop, I bought it right at the announcement on September 8th. I did not receive my band for eight weeks, and that was on the faster end of people receiving them. So many of the people that bought Whoops with me or at the same time, or even within a few weeks, had to wait months before they could get their actual band in the mail. And that's really frustrating when you're paying for a service or a product and you don't actually get to use it, especially because the hype starts to wear off after a while. You're seeing cool announcements about Apple Watches and other Polar and Garmin features that are coming out. You're just sitting there waiting for a product you've already paid for. So this is supposed to be a video talking about the good things. So they actually fixed all of those problems. The supply chain is back up and running. I received an email from Whoop saying that the supply chain is fixed and now they are no longer in a backlog situation with the Whoop 4.0. So assuming this email is even accurate at all, if you buy a Whoop Band 4.0 now, you will actually receive it in a reasonable amount of time. I think it's a couple of weeks maximum. So that's a huge, huge difference from a few months. And so that also helps with my recommendation. And if the email's not accurate, well, here's the, here's the email itself, so you can, you can blast this person instead of me. Finally, I have actually kept my Whoop Band on since December of 2020, and that's a reasonable amount of time. I think it's like a year and a half. So I've been using it for a while, every single day, and I actually really do like having it. I'm not necessarily an elite, I'm not an elite athlete, that's pretty clear. But I am someone who likes to pay attention to my health and how that fluctuates over time, especially when I'm working out some days and not working out other days. I really wanna understand more about my health. So the Whoop is really helping me do that because it helps me understand how recovered I am, when to go to sleep, and things like that that overall make me healthier. Even when I recommended the Apple Watch over the Whoop in this video that you may not have seen, but I guess that's a spoiler, uh, I still use it for sleep and I still use it to track that recovery over time. And having done that for the past, I think, 520 days or something like that, it's been incredibly valuable and I really appreciated having it and having that data close at hand. And that's one of the reasons that when people ask me, even when they were having so many issues with the supply chain, I still do recommend the Whoop. I really like the concept, the platform, the technology. They just didn't necessarily hit it right on the head when they launched the 4.0 with some of the issues and quirks. Like, for example, whenever I take my Whoop off, it just falls off. Like, you don't have to take it off anymore. And that, I mean, that's alone, super frustrating. But I think that is a specific case to me and that's not necessarily what happens for everyone. Hopefully they've fixed that. And you know, it was one of the first ones sent out so I can understand they might've been a little sloppy when they're first making them, but they've significantly improved that since then from what I've heard. So that being said, I am now recommending the Whoop 4.0 so much more than I was in the past with the increased accuracy, the improved supply chain, as well as just the overall usefulness over time. But I wanna mention something that's super important. If you are gonna spend money on a Whoop band, know that it's a monthly subscription. It's going to cost a significant amount of money. So before you put money into it, know what the value is and know what you need to do with it in order to get that value out of it. One of the things that I think is the most valuable in their platform is the ability to use journal entries to tell you what certain activities impact your health. Now, each one of us is individual and the way that we interact with our own health is different. So understanding your journal entries is one way to unlock significantly more value out of the Whoop. So the way to do that if you're new to Whoop is to record a lot of different things each day based on what you did during the day. So if you ate late, if you worked out, if you worked out in the morning versus the evening, if you were specifically stressed on a certain day, you can mark all of those things down and then over time, Whoop will start to track how each of those elements affects your personal health and your recovery and strain scores, which is awesome. It's really, really cool. And I think that's one of the ways 
where if you do invest in something like a Whoop, you should definitely make sure to put the extra time into using the journal entries so that you get more value out of the system itself. So hopefully that was helpful to you and hopefully it was a good next step in my personal Whoop journey as I've started to recommend it again. And hopefully you have questions and if you do, leave those in the comment section below. I'll answer any of the ones that I can and I will probably direct you to Whoop's website for those that I can't. But thanks for your time and I will see you in the next video.